Hello again, and this is the second video for shopping for a home or buying a home. So now the second video is all shopping. Now we're going to have a conversation either via text, email, or phone call. I'd rather phone call. And we're going to talk about what is that thing that you want in a house. So we need to have in consideration the first, the budget. Now we know what is our budget and we have to hold on to that if you don't have uh, more money to put um, to buy the house. So now with the budget, we're gonna find one, how many bedrooms you really need. Some people, they say I want five bedrooms. Well, if you don't really need five, we're gonna try to look for the minimum bedrooms uh, you, you can uh, afford, and then we go from there. If we get a house with five bedrooms, perfect. But now we are not excluding those houses that you qualify for. Sometimes we want to have, uh, uh, you know, more bedrooms, but we're sacrificing, for example, um, a location. So amount of bedrooms, location, very important. You have to uh, let me know what are the areas. If in more areas you have, much better. What are the areas that you are willing to uh, um, to go or to shop? Uh, in what areas you want to shop? So if you are looking, let's say, uh, in a specific school area, now I need to know what is the school so I shop uh, in the district for that particular school. If you're open to that, that's great because we have more opportunities. Then we have to decide if a pool is a must or is something that you would like to have. That, make sure you understand that part because a lot of times people stop buying just because they say, I wanted a house with a pool. Okay, if we you definitely that's something that you want, we need to sacrifice one of the other things. So location, budget, budget, you know that we cannot touch. So budget, location, amount of bedrooms, and any other uh, particular um, things that you want in the house. If a big kitchen, uh, if something that if you tell me, Clara, I don't want to move in a house that is not completely done or completely remodeled. Now we know that that's a must. But if you say, well, you know what? I'd rather uh, a house that is remodeled, but if it's nothing in the budget, then I will be okay with a house that I can maybe do the flooring or maybe painting or something like that. So keep that in mind. So when I give you a call, now you know and you have an idea what we are going to do. I'm going to give you an example. I had a family that they said, I don't, I only want four bedrooms. I only want one story and I need houses in less than 650, single family houses, no association. So they were giving me a lot of things, but the budget was very, very limited for the areas they wanted to have a pool and to have four bedrooms. What I did is I checked all the market and I said, I said to them, either you sacrifice bedrooms or you sacrifice pool. If we're going to continue with the budget, definitely not a pool. And if we go in a pool, not in the location you want, or we have to go to two stories. So location was the main thing. If they wanted the pool and four bedrooms, we had to switch a location for an area that they didn't want to be in. And it was a very good area, but they, they were very limited in the areas. So with that in mind, I hope we can start shopping soon and I hope I can help you soon.